some perspective on trade as it played out uh, today. What sense have you made of the kind of activity we've seen come to the foyer? Well, today was quite interesting. There was a lot of profit taking, particularly in the banking sector. Uh, we had most of the top tier banks shedding points, serious points today. We had um, banks like UBA, U Union Bank, First Bank, GT Bank all losing. Uh, the only major bank that actually gained was a marginal gain by Zenit of 0.32%. Uh, on the flip side, however, we saw strong gains from the oil and gas sector. Mobile gained uh, maximum 5%. Same thing with Orlando. Uh, we also saw, saw strong gains from Cadbury, um, food and beverage sector, Cadbury and Dango de Flower, which balanced it and we had the marginal overall gain in the oil share index. Well, if we look at one of the big headlines uh, in Nigeria today, it's been that the CBN and the SEC are now to roll out a new set of guidelines and rules on lending uh, this week. How are the markets digesting this news? Because uh, one would assume that overall it is positive where uh, practices and uh, irresponsible practices have led to major provisions and so major dents to banks' bottom lines. Well, um, we've had a lot of positive sentiments in the past um, two months in the market, and this piece of information can only uh, deepen the positive sentiments currently in the market. Um, from 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 the, the, the general the general overview of the new lending lending policy, we're going to see the margin loans. Uh, um, banks can no longer use their shares to refinance margin loans, and uh, we're also going to see uh, a change in the considerations of and um, prudential guidelines. That, uh, that accompany some of these loans to manufacturers and also retail, retail loans. There's going to be a change in all that. Uh, p before now, all that was just a general policy that, guide, did that, that was guiding all this. And now there's going to be streamlined risk management, proper, proper risk management uh, policies and guidelines for this. So this could only build more confidence in the market. Um, we're also looking at um, gaining more long-term investment into the Nigerian Stock Exchange in this uh, Nigerian Stock Exchange. Alicia. Well, in this context, as we still await a majority of the Nigerian bank's full-year numbers, we saw Zenith Bank out with its uh, first quarter uh, results. And on the surface, things looking solid enough. We had profit before tax up 12%, PAT up 4%. In the meantime, overall impressions of those numbers, because you did mention that Zenith has been one of the stocks today to back the overall trend. Uh, well, yeah, that's uh, the results are quite, uh, quite, quite uh, okay. Um, we were expecting them to actually continue this trend all through to the end of the quarter. Um, it is a strong brand, and um, based on their structure, in which, uh, based on the structure after the banking reforms, we saw the Zenit Bank strongly focused on large corporates and um, giving loans to large corporates, which we've seen by their. Um, the qu fourth quarter results in which there was a massive growth, uh, long growth towards this sector. So they've refocused, they've re-strategized, and they focus on these large corporates to grow their business. And um, I see them re-strategizing as the quarter goes and all the CBN policies actually take full effect. I see them re-strategizing and moving on. And we see that this, 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 this performance can also uh, can be replicated across the remaining quarters in the year. When you say re-strategizing, uh, what, uh, what kind of turnaround could we be expecting here? Because currently, as you say, it's the corporate banking uh, segment that continues to be the cornerstone of the business. It accounts for 94% of group revenues as well. Do, uh, are you anticipating in that re-strategizing you're talking about of a turnaround in terms of its, uh, to who it targets? Yeah, well, personally, I would I would expect some sort of strategizing. Um, we are looking at uh, uh, the remaining three quarters in which we're going to have new investors into Nigerian banks. We're going to see new banks coming in, may maybe international banks. Uh, the competition with the large corporates is going to intensify, and the margins is going to drop because we're going to see a lot of banks coming with better funding into the market. So with this in mind, I would expect Zenith Bank to look at the retail banking sector, to look at the commercial banking sector and actually see how can we garner a lot of all those things and actually give out loans to this sector also. Um, not to forget that CBN is also packaging all these reforms and backing mm -hmm. this up with, um, with strong corporate risk, strict risk management um, processes. So we, we see them restructuring and they have good support in terms yeah. of CBN and also in terms of their own internal risk management policies that will um, 
uh, enable them to now give loans to the retail sectors of the economy. Well, Damilola, just uh, looking at uh, the operational and reporting highlights for the group, we've seen the company report uh, a one for four bonus issue of shares declared with a payout date of the 14th of April. Uh, why are all these banks going down these routes and should we be anticipating more of this to come as we slowly start to see uh, more and more banks release numbers? Well, yes, it's a general investor, well, I call it a general investor trend in Nigeria to have this share bonus after a release of a good result, so to speak. So um, we will see more of this for certain banks. Um, most likely, well, we will see most, more of this for banks mm -hmm. in, in the coming future. But um, this trend might not, might not necessarily continue because most banks are still going to be struggling to come up from a negative uh, um, profit position. So uh, as soon as most banks get into a positive position, we'll see this um, share bonus is coming up into the market. Yeah. With this being the current trend then, to what extent do you see this making uh, these stocks more accessible to the smaller investors? Oh. Well, ultimately, yes, it will become more accessible to the smaller investors. Um, the strategy has been, prior to this, when the banks actually went to the market, the strategy was, one, get to institutional investors and also actually focus on the retail sector of the economy. So they, 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 they have been able to mop up all those funds also from the retail sector and also from institutional investors. So by the end of the share bonuses, yes, the price will become more accessible for for the retail masses to actually buy and invest in bank shares. Yes, that's first true.